All right, everyone, now we have to talk about the Democrats getting dragged, but they're not getting dragged by the conservatives, though. They're getting dragged by leftists, which is something that, I hate to tell you, but I fucking predicted for about five years now. The problem is that the old Reagan-Clinton consensus on economics especially, and a little bit of an injection of idpol, has died. The left has become much more frenetic with the identity politics. It's no longer, hey, we need more justice for people of color. Now it's kneel down and lick the toilet brush. Uh, the id poll has gone completely off the chain and begun alienating most of the population. Um, to be clear, Twitter and Tumblr are not the mainline consensus of the U.S. public. Um, on economics, they've moved to the left, but generally the problem for the Democrats is this. They keep over-promising, and then they deliver little to nothing. We've seen this with the Biden administration, the asterisk administration thus far. When he was campaigning, he made a dozen different promises to the far left. Well, you know, we're going to go after the guns, which they did in a tepid manner. That'll be struck down soon by SCOTUS, by the way. Um, we're going to raise taxes. We're going to tax the hell out of these goddamn billionaires. And then we're going to give you UBI and single payer and universal pre-K and all of these other things. Biden has delivered exactly two things, one of which was so watered down the left didn't even give him credit for, which was the infrastructure bill. The only other thing you got was elements of the Green New Spiel in the American Rescue Plan. That's it. And he upheld his promise to attack the energy industry. The problem being, of course, that's <laughs> not currently helping him. Have you seen the disapproval polling from today? Even post Roe, he's still losing support. I have a feeling these are going to be very interesting midterms. By the way, do not bother worrying about the Marist poll showing Dems up by seven points in the uh, midterms. I'm sure that the, some leftists will misconstrue that as an aggregate and actually share it out. Hint, hint, the last Marist poll showed him up five. It's a sampling error, and we have to wait for three or four more polls. Uh, I would be very hesitant to believe that the Democrats will pull that off. The Dems are getting dragged because they make those promises, and then they don't follow through, really. And this worked so long as the economy was good, or reasonable. The leftoid only cares about broad ideology, and they're easily conned. They're very gullible people. So if you make a bunch of promises to them, and the opponent, the Republicans, are saying, screw off, they're naturally going to vote for you, even if at low levels, because they tend to be young, inexperienced people with trust funds, and they don't really know how the world works. Uh, they, they want socialism, but they definitely want to keep daddy's credit card, of course. They don't want to have to actually go work on the collective farm, uh, which they would be. Uh, they're too retarded to understand this. The Democrats are still using the old Clinton-Reagan consensus, a little bit of a history story. The Democrats managed to take that election because they effectively took Ronald Reagan, put it in a younger vessel, and said, more welfare. That's really what Clinton represented. That's why generally the economy was going well at the time. You had neoliberalism, you had globalism, and yes, Ronald Reagan's second term was a neoliberal. Corporatism, it's good for the corporations, it's good for everyone, right? And this worked for a long time because all you had to do as a Democrat was play that same neoliberal game, but talk a big game while you were in the election, that is before the votes are cast, talk a big game about how much you love African tea, and, and women's lib and all of these other things. So effectively, you, you took a core of the mainline Main Street voters and the suburbanites, of course, which they're hemorrhaging right now by the millions, and you added to them the inner city block. Well, you have clearly more than 50% of the population that tends to vote for you. And so they were doing well. Now the paradigm shift has happened, and the foreshock was the Tea Party movement and Ron Paul. This is quite some time ago. That was the foreshock. The Republicans were already getting rocked by four shocks, and Trump was their earthquake. They completed the paradigm shift into what is now a hybrid party that is moving towards populism and some elements of libertarianism and reabsorption of evangelical voters, and somehow they're managing to stabilize the situation, which is amazing. Republicans aren't known for making good decisions. I suppose that it's because of the Trump effect at this point. Uh, by the way, DeSantis astroturfing aside, I think that that's hilarious. The Democrats haven't done that. They still have a schismatic party where you have mainly a neoliberal core and then you have a, a small but very quickly growing leftoid component. They think the Republicans are so far right and so terrible, so they're going to the Democrats and they're dragging them reluctantly to the left. 
but the mainline Dems that actually get elected still go back to the neoliberal core after being elected. They're not playing that game. They think that they'll lose elections if they do. By the way, I concur. Yeah, piss away tens of millions of suburban voters who have NPR cups in favor of 10 anarcho-punks uh, holding their nose to vote for you. That'd be a good strategy. But you invited them into the party with several decades of hollow promises. It's like, link in the description, uh, not archive, this is a tweet. <clears throat> I talked about it yesterday in my live stream, but I'll put it back in here. The idea. The Democrats had decades and decades to codify Roe. They had decades and decades to take those guns. They had decades and decades for UBI and all of these other proposals, and they never did anything. In a handful of cases, you get experimentation by the states on the topic. Never anything at the federal level. I feel sorry almost for the Democrats. Hear me out because a lot of you will, uh, will be uh, bristling at me mentioning that. They can't do it at the federal level. It would fall short of the constitutional muster that it needs, especially with the current SCOTUS incarnation, which, haha, is going to last for at least 10 years, just so that you're clear. Five would be the bare minimum. That's an awful lot of time for them to take up important pro-gun cases. And I hope that they fucking do. I hope Clarence Thomas should really twist in the knife. Just keep taking the cases up and granting them certiari. Uh, you have a situation where the Democrats brought all these morons aboard and now they can't control them. Those morons have legislative capabilities now. To be clear, they have seven people in the House of Representatives. They have the Geek Squad, initially the Gang of Four, with AOC and Elon Omar and stuff. Uh, they have a couple of senators, and Bernie Sanders, by the way, is not one of them. He's an old has-been that they're increasingly rejecting. By the way, as an aside, having nothing to do with them getting dragged, I saw people claiming that Bernie Sanders is responsible for the fall of Roe v. Wade because he dared to stand in Hillary Clinton's way and didn't endorse her uh, 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 enough uh, as early as he could. I've actually seen that claim by leftoids, so again, it's the old white dude's fault. It's, it's not the fault of the Democrats at large for screwing you for 50 fucking years on legislation. I'm glad that they did, though. <clears throat> I don't want them to pass most of the uh, proposals that they have because they would destroy the country. I'm glad that they're lying to the leftoids. I just wish that more leftoids, and you know, this won't happen because they're on the left, they're clearly stupid. I just wish more of them would open their eyes and abandon the Democrats. Let them undergo their paradigm shift. Gravitate out of the party, go vote Green or, or Communist Party or something, be ideologically consistent, because you're not going to get anywhere with the Dems, and let them crash and burn so they can become like a party of JFK again or something, so that we have two respectable parties instead of one kind of respectable Republican Party and one completely nut schismatic movement which used to be democratic and now it's basically corporate fascism. That's about all. Peace out.